Well, there's the there it is. There's new intro. There was Sour Belt Cookie and Greetings Entities and Guardians. My name, <laughs> look at Ginger Brave in the middle. She's like, whoa! <laughs> My name is Hyper Himes, and finally, welcome to the new Cookie Run update. Where oh, it's already giving me this fresh offer for two crystals. Cute button jellies go well with everything. Well, with everything, and I guess anything. Uh, sure, give me that. That's basically you'll give me a cute button, and I'll also get 198 crystals in return. Sure, and now you give me this offer. Who says patches are too retro? Retro is the new passion. What does that say? The new passion? Uh, then there's volume 3, there was volume 2, and I think I purchased volume 1, but uh, we finally made it in. A uh, new gift available? Okay. And uh, by the way, if you're wondering, I want to mention this. If you didn't know, before this update even happened, people who were playing on iOS and Samsung got lucky and they got it like at the exact time that uh, us Android people were waiting but they it, people on Android phones got it at like one o'clock in the morning in the US for me and at the very least they gave us conversation because they're saying we are so sorry we love you certain maintenance has been extended we are sorry for the inconvenience please take a small gift as our sign of an apology so we get free 500 Raymond cues and three 1000 crystals and also uh Champions League medal conversions, server champions renewal dot old champions medal. What? Uh, okay, I'll take that. And unclaimed rewards from trophy race land and have been delivered. Oh, okay, sure. All right. So, finally, what I'm going to do is, since Sourbout Cookie has been released, we're going to be doing their trial. We're going to be getting their pet, and we're going to be getting the new treasure. So we're going to quickly go over here, and you can see 2,900 crystals. Uh, by the way, I got some uh, bell pepper cookies recently because I wanted to get them boosted up because they're one of my best cookies. But let's see if we can get Sour Belt. Let's get some Sour Belt. Let's get some luck going. All right, Gumball Cookie, Princess Cookie, Pistachio Cookie. Can we get it on our first draw? There it is! Already, Sour Belt Cookie. There's no fashion without fun. Creates clothes by cutting Sour Belts. And also as a bonus... Gave us Bellflower. Bellflower is getting very close to level, uh, 12, 15, but they're gonna soon reach 12 if I upgrade them. But now let's get their, uh, pet, which should be the Aero, like, the Aero Satchel or something like that? Uh, I, it's gonna tell us the name after we draw, but okay. Let's get it. Come on, let's get it. New pet. Lemon Slice. Alright. Celestial Star. R Rocket Firecracker. Come on, first draw, first draw, first draw. That's a, that's a play for Herbert. Uh, second draw. There we go, the Terra Satchel. Yeah, creates accessory jellies. <laughs> Look how dry they look. I, I love them. Now, also, there is a treasure that we can get that they just released, being this, which is, uh, I don't think we can, uh, yeah, Fashion is the Spotlight. So we can get a two times chance for that, I'm pretty sure. Yes, we can. And uh, I guess we'll just go for, I don't know, anything else? Anything? Maybe I'll go for the uh, Apple book because that's near a uh, high level. And also, maybe something else that's near high level. Uh, I need some good stuff anyway. So how about we go for just... Mm, I don't know, honestly. All oh, these are max, that's cool. I wish it would show you the treasures by level. But uh, I guess I'll just go for uh, maybe this, because this is near high level. So, uh, let's try. We have four of these treasure incantation uh, things, the 10 plus ones. And, uh, first one. First one. Literally, the very first one we get the Fashionista Spotlight. Turns bear jellies lit by the spotlight in- by, uh, wait, tur turns bear jellies lit by the spotlight into fashion bear jellies. Okay, sorry, I just had to take some time to understand that. Well, I guess with all that means that we can just skip this, right? Uh, yeah, and we also did get another Apple book, and any of the other treasure, we got a bunch of other, like, of the rare ones, but we just got treasure stones from. So, we got the new treasure. We got the new cookie, and we got the new cookie pet, with still a lot of crystals to spare, and there's probably a lot of new events to look at, but for now, let's try and focus on the trial and the new cookie and what they have to offer, because we also gotta get the magic candy, too. Quit trying to shove packages in my face, but when I opened the package up, or when it showed it to me, it showed me, like, this interesting cookie that I couldn't describe, because it, it had a big beard, but with that, whatever. There's a lot of new things here. This competitive. Look, there's the new trophy. There he is. It looks like a Hercules cookie. What the heck? Uh, event modes. There's Super Fashion Week, Treasure Trials, and Custom Runs. We're going to be doing videos on all of those. But let's go and focus on... Uh, is there a new story? I don't think so. But let's just focus on the main thing of this video being the Cookie Trials. There you are, Sour Belt Cookie. So we can upgrade them a little bit. Let's do that. Level 4. Sounds nice. Let's get their pet upgraded as well. Let's get you to either level 3 or 4. Level 4, fantastic. 
I can get you to level uh, 5 if I wanted to, but not right now. But, okay. Before we won, let's talk about all the story and, like, what their skills are. So, here's the story of Sour Belt Cookie. Powdered sugar on layers of chocolate coating, adorned with icing of all colors of the rainbow. Hipsters unite for ACID, or acid, is trending throughout the entire world of fashion. Featuring hot new looks that boast flare, flex, and flash with a tinge of sour acidity, but tons of flexibility. This line of streetwear was designed by none other than the rising star in fashion, Sour Belt Cookie. All that's needed for a revolutionary new design is to let a trusty pair of scissors glide across a pristine bolt of fabric made from the highest quality sour jellies. Sour Belt Cookie's experience with design stems from her childhood, making stylish but comfortable clothes suited for any environment, even the Dragon's Valley. This island, uh, this rising icon of fashion may always be wearing a shy smile, but take caution. Disrespect her brand, and you disrespect her. That sounds pretty cool, with the fact that you can wear any outfit, even in the Dragon's Valley, but just don't get her on her bad side. But for her skill, it's short- wait, hold on, let me- there we go. Uh... Her skill is that she creates clothes by cutting sour belts, enters a tailor shop to create clothes at regular intervals. While in the tailor shop, a long sour belt stretches horizontally across the middle of the screen with the area to cut shown with a visible marking. Press the cut buttons as the scissors are over the correct area to create a piece of clothing. Gain scissor points for each successful cut into the sour belt and gain clothing points at the end according to the amount of clothes you successfully created. Level up for more scissors points and clothing points gained. Now, let's move on to their pet. By the way, they do have another costume, and it's a super epic, being Shalat F slash W collection, which, unfortunately, I don't have yet. I want to save up for the... Ra I, I have rainbow cubes, but, like, I feel like I want to save them up for, until both costumes are released, but we'll wait for that until the second part of the update comes. But... With that being said, let's talk about Satchel's story. Or, the, you know, Terra Satchel. Terra Satchel has been following Sour Belt Cookie ever since they met in the Dragon's Valley. As Sour Belt Cookie's assistant, this pet is in charge of scouring the textile markets for great bargains and classic fabrics, bringing them back safe and sound within its jaws. And the pet has also learned a thing or two from Sour Cookie as it can create accessories and adornments too. This pet would be the perfect assistant if it could stop dropping things sometimes. And its skill is that it creates accessory jellies. Material jellies appear at given intervals. Collected material jellies enter the mouth of the pet. When enough material jellies have been collected, the, the, the pet flies ahead spitting out various accessory jellies, level up for more points for accessory jellies. Now there also is a story for this treasure right here, the Fashionista Spotlight, but I... I think it's hard for me to read. Uh, can't have a, you know, can't have a stage without a spotlight. Uh, shine this light on bear jellies and it'll uh, become, you know, fashionista bear jellies, I guess. I'm sorry, it's hard to read. And there's also information being a spotlight shines on the screen at even intervals while the spotlight is on. The bear jellies under these light turn into fashion bear jellies. Level for more points for fashion bear jellies. Okay. So now, with all that information being said, it's about time that we get on to the official run of Sour Belt Cookie. I forgot we had to equip other treasure around her. The Apple Book is actually high level along with the, uh, plumbing tea thing. <laughs> the tea thing, what am I saying? Uh, I only, I'll put on the, uh, yeah, the Panakia Pestle, or Pesti, and, uh, I'll give him the treasure because, uh, you know, big money. Want to spend money just to make fabric, and let's go ahead. Oh, and also can't forget about this, which uh, you got to pay ten 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 dollars for. Uh, but you know what? With that, with that being disregarded, let's just run, shall we? Where did I buy this? I made I made this myself, silly. All right. So, uh, okay. So you got time it well. Okay. Snap, snap, snip, snoop, snip, snap. Okay. Time beep, bop, boop, bop. One more. There we go. Nice. Look, freshly made clothes. I like this music though, it's pretty jolly. Okay, this is different. The spotlights, that's what's going on. Everything turns black and white, I guess. And the bear jellies are now these fashion jellies, which have sunglasses, I think that that's what I saw. But okay, I love the design of the background. I say ACID, it, it looks like we're inside of a mall or something. Uh, I love the actual, like, you know, obstacles because it looks like, you know, big old, like, clothes hanger with the clothes on it. I just saw a bunch more, but just got replaced with a chest. Uh, okay, back to snipping. We gotta make some perfection. Snip that. Snippity snop. Snip. Stop. Cut it cut. Nice red scissors, by the way. I like it. They look ruby red, so you, that's how you know they're still sharp. But they can still provide a clean cut. Alright. Are those spike shoes that we just jumped over and those are shopping bags? Who are those? Those are clumsy people up there dropping their bags. Okay, that's why that's happening. It's just people being clumsy. 
All right. Well, that's fine. I really love. Oh, there's pe there's some people who were uh, trying to hold on to a bunch of stuff. Be careful! Don't spill those. If you do, that might be bad. Uh, okay, just pose in the middle of that, I guess. He's like, hey, we exist. Notice us. We're already running low on energy. Okay, that's trippy. I'm, I'm sorry, but like, when you give us a fireball and make us start running really fast, but then like, the sour belt is still the same, it's kind of... It's kind of messing with my mind for a bit, but it's fine. Uh, can we at least make it to silver? Because we are running out of energy reasonably fast. Oh, look! I saw popping candy and sh uh, shining uh, glitter. That's so cool. I, l I like that big poster. All right, give me all these rainbow bear jellies. Give me lots of points. All right, let's keep going. Let's get a bunch of these fr uh, frozen bear jellies. We we hit a bonus time. Okay. Is this bonus time going to be different? Is going to have something custom? This looks new. I haven't seen this one before. Yep. The this is specific to uh, Sour Belt because I see red scissors, a uh, big line of rainbow bear jellies. Uh. U-O-B, U-O-B, uh, jelly bear, uh, yellow, or just, just bear jellies dancing, uh, got that one, that's another, hopefully I can make it to gold, snip snap, gotta get these cuts perfect, I need to have pristine outfits for the street, everyone needs to have a good outfit, no matter who they are, no matter where they are, no matter where they go, they need to have some amazing outfits, I did miss some rainbow bear jellies there, but it's not too bad. I'm pretty sure I won't make it to gold. Maybe I'll just, like, keep my space in, a uh, silver one. But, I'm pretty sure with the magic candy, we can make it to, uh, gold. Oh, never mind. We made it to gold, uh, uh, three. Thank the lord. At least we made it to gold one run. But now it begs the question, how far can we get with, uh, a tier three magic candy? At least I want to try and aim for a tier three magic candy. But, that was pretty fun, to be honest. It felt like it ended a little bit too quick, but that was pretty fun. Let's get some rewards. That's that's actually a lot. That's a nice amount. We got a lot of magic powder out of that. That's like 5,000. That's a lot of magic powder. Especially later 2,000 and then you even get some rainbow cubes. Oh, this... Wait. It changed to the paper airplane and the... Don't I have all those at level 7? Oh, but the cookies are higher level. Okay, but let's focus on getting that magic candy up. Alright. We do need some stuff where we have none of this. So, we'll just, uh, buy it with... Mm, actually, no, I'm gonna buy it with crystals because that seems like it's less, uh, you know, hefty. And I'm saving the magic candy for something pretty interesting. But come on. Nice tier one. Let's see this animation. Oh, that looks beautiful. I love the band around it. Oh, looks nice and sharp, but also pretty tasty. Alright, let's try and go for tier two. We got it at tier two. Let's try and go for tier three. Okay, that didn't work. Well, let's try and go for it again. I got crystals to spare. It's fine. Uh, okay. Maybe you... Maybe it would be more enticed with the magic powder. If I can buy three of them, exactly. I tried buying what's needed, but, uh... It didn't let me. Hold on. There we go. Now you work. I almost pressed 100. That would have been bad. Okay, sure. The magic powder worked. Alright, so we have the magic candy. And the skill says, a magic candy effect. A golden area appears on the sour belt to be cut. Finish the piece of clothing by cutting the golden area to gain even more points. The stronger the enchanted power, the more clothing points earned for the clothing or er, for clothing made by cutting the golden areas. Okay, that's pretty interesting. So basically it makes it so that you can cut out you can potentially cut out golden pieces of clothing. And this should be Yep, there it is. There's a golden strand right there. Beautiful. I would like to wear golden clothing, but do you know how much of a target that would make you for being robbed? Yeah, I'd rather not. Does it, it makes golden clothing too! That's so cool! Okay, I love how these are uh, yellow- not yellow, pink- yeah, yellow, pink, and uh, frozen. I'm pretty sure this can also happen with the uh, big bear jellies too, but I'm not sure. But uh, I love how like when they get hit with the spotlight, they just whip on a pair of sunglasses. Like nothing really bothers them. They're just relaxing in the store. They're whipping out their awesome clothes, and it's just so cool. All right. So hopefully, maybe the boost in uh, gold with gold clothing can actually give us a enough points to at least make us reach gold too. But you know me, I always want to try and reach for the highest of scores. Even if it's now or later, I always want to see the absolute best for the cookies. And I want to treat them with care and amazingness. But yeah, those are spiked shoes right there. Those are like cleats. But I'm surprised. Well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised on how uh, some shopping bags being fallen on the ground could hurt me. Because imagine if you trip on that. You don't know what's in those shopping bags. They, sure, it could be like softest clothing, 
but you don't know, they could probably have, like, bricks in the bag. Now, I know what you're asking. Why would they be shopping for bricks? I don't know. You ever go to the- You ever go to the brick store? They probably sell bricks there. Oh, I can still jump! Okay, that's interesting. It's just kind of hard to, uh, jump while in this mode because you're focusing on cutting. Plus, uh, is that even really worth it? I guess you can, uh, reach for some, uh, jellies, I guess, but, uh, I don't really see a point for it when your main focus is just trying to, uh, make cuts out of the sour belt. But, anyway, I'm pretty sure I missed those rainbow bear jellies before, but, hey, I got them now, so that works. Works out in my favor, at least. But, definitely don't think I'm gonna get, uh, diamond rank. There's no way with the level on that. I need, like, higher level cookies or, like, a better strategy, a high level magic candy. But, hey, at least I can reach the bonus time. I literally like this bonus time, to be honest. It just feels nice and organized. And it's- I just like bonus times that are, like, fitting for the, you know, the cookie in general. Like, they have, like, a theme. Like, don't get me wrong, I like bonus times in general because, you know, big points, you know? Love the big points, but, uh, I don't know, I just like him. I just like them having a specific theme because it makes them feel special. Okay, maybe jumping there was a good reason why you should jump during these, because then you could potentially- you could potentially miss those ingredient pouches. But, so far I'm fine right now. Uh, these are really hard to miss. But, uh, oh no, I think it was those Rainbow Bear Jellies that I missed, but... Yeah, those aren't very hard to miss, but I will say... You just gotta focus on hard. They're not as, you know, tricky to mess up on as, like... I guess a good reference for it would be, uh, Owl Cookie Skill, where you gotta hit zeros and ones at a fast pace, but also you gotta do it, you know, well-paced, and, uh... We made it to Gold 1, which is actually very impressive. I like that. We didn't make it to Emerald. We were pretty close, but we didn't make it quite there. However, I'm still proud with the progress that we made, even just for Day 1. Now, bear in mind, I'm recording this video at... 1.30 in the one forty in the morning because of how late the update came for, uh, you know, Android users. At least they gave us compensation for the late update. So, I'm gonna have to book- I'm gonna have to book it to my computer and immediately edit this and see if how fast I can get this uploaded. But thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, then please be sure to leave a like on it and also share with your friends more picker run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel? And if, if you haven't yet, or you want to, then hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to receive all my notifications on this YouTube channel in the near future. And last but certainly not least, why not check my merchandise in the description? I'm not forcing you to buy anything, I'm just saying there might be something interesting in the shop that you might be interested in. But above all else, I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Hail the hype knees!